Today I want to showcase a really powerful feature that was recently introduced to 3D code. This feature allows you to design on a curved surface. It involves using curved patches with the blob tool and various other voxel tools to make awesome designs, helmets, a face guard, a shoe, a chest piece, you name it, anything you want. And this is a huge update because it opens the door wide for so many possibilities. And while it is still fresh and might be rough around the edges, it is only going to get better from here. And I think everyone should try it. As we will see shortly, the setup is very simple. First, get your model character, or whatever you want to design on. Now, we need to draw the surface that we will be working on. To do that, hit Q and pick a curve creation tool. Now draw the guidelines for the surface, then hit escape to finish creating the curve. The simpler the curve, the better, because it is far more easier to make quick edits with only a few control points, rather than having to adjust many points. If I want to design something for the chest area, I can draw three curves. As an example, the number of control points on each spline does not have to match. Once you are happy with the result, you can proceed to creating the lofted surface. But before that, make sure that you select all your curves from the curve tree panel. And also make sure your curve isn't protruding beneath the surface of the object too much. You want it to be above the surface, not inside it. In most cases, that is. But you can adjust it after the fact. Now, with your curve selected, you can switch to the Blob tool or the Sphere tool, as they are the primary volume generated mesh in the Voxel toolset. Next, check the On Plane checkbox in the toolbar. And in the Tool Options panel, select the List menu with the lofted surface and hit the Create New Surface button. This will generate a Quiet Patch Preview surface highlighted in green, which you can use to build shapes upon or fill entirely with the volume. Next, you want to inspect the preview surface to see if there are any issues with it. If you see something that you don't like, you can hit the Q key to bring the curves quick menu. Then select the Edit Points tool and move the points until you are satisfied with the shape. Another option that you might find helpful is the Hide Surface Preview, as well as the Offset from Surface option, which helps you adjust the distance between the base object and the lofted surface. The Extend Surface option will extend the surface beyond the boundary of the curves. You can also check the voxel paint if you want to apply it, that is, with the real volumetric depth to your newly created shapes. And don't forget, this includes the use of smart materials if you wish. Another important option is choosing which border type you want, whether it is sharp, rounded, or plate. There are various other options too, but at the very bottom of the panel, you can click the button labeled Fill Loft Surface, and it will fill the entire preview surface with a thick volume which can be made thinner afterward by right mouse button clicking the sculpted tree layer and choosing the extrude option with a negative value. Now you can start making edits to the object, such as cuts or using live or soft booleans, if you prefer to work this way. Perhaps you want to layer stuff additively. You can create multiple layers and work however you want. Some important tips would be enabling symmetry mirroring, so you only need to worry about one side, also, the viewport angle when adding shapes is important in order to avoid distortion. It is also better to face the surface to get the better results. Of course, you might have to do some cleanup later, but this is a very powerful tool that wasn't available in 3D code before. It is super versatile and can be further enhanced to be a real game changer. If you want to try this for yourself, you can grab 3D code for a month free of charge, and after that, you can still use it indefinitely in learning mode. Give it a spin and let me know what you think about it. Also, check their YouTube channel, as well as Anton Tonisky's, who offers a ton of 3D code training content on his channel, in addition to Gumroad page. Together, they have hundreds of great tutorials on 3D code, including all the new features. Finally, 3D code is running a Christmas sale that will last until the 7th of January with tons of discounts on almost all the products and licenses. To check them out, hit the link in the description down below. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.